Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how in Critter we can create a Instagram post 3D pop-out effect, where we're going to have part of our actor's body showing over the post area, making it almost look like the photo is part of the post itself. So I'm starting with the photo of this dog, which I want to use to create this effect, and I'm also pulling in a Instagram post template up here, or you could take a screenshot from your phone and then edit your new photo over that. So to get things started, I'm going to drag the photo to the top layer and I'm going to load the opacity down a little bit so that we can see the Instagram frame behind our main image. And we're going to start by resizing this image so that it will fit better in that Instagram post. So with our actor layer selected, I'm going to go up to layer and do transform scale to new size. And uh, for this particular template, we're looking at something like 500 pixels for the height, locking the width so that it scales properly and hitting OK. And now I can hit T to go to the transform tool, move it kind of over that area. Uh, we can see it's still a little bit large, so I'm going to scale it down a bit more. So layer transform scale layer to new size, and let's try 380 for the height instead. And right around there will probably do. I would say one of the important things here is going to be to make sure that your actor is inside of the entire shot. If you'd like, you can have the head pop up a little bit above the top edge of the photo, uh, but we're going to be focusing on the bottom edge here. So uh, you'll notice that this box that the dog is sitting on top of is angled just a bit. So to fix that, I'm actually going to tilt this photo by about one degree. So I'm going to go up to layer, transform, rotate, rotate layer, and then do left rotation of one degree. And then that will make this more of a flat plane there. So next we're going to want to mask out the areas which don't belong in the final image. So that's going to be the wooden box down here and everything above and everything above the top of the original photo area. So I'm going to go down to the layers button and add in a new transparency mask. I'm going to put it on the actor layer here. And with the brush tool set to black and fade set to 1.0, if you click on brush settings there so that we have a hard edge, I'm going to start masking away the top area here. If you'd like to get precise results, you could also do this with the line tool. So left click to set the starting point, shift to make it a straight line, and then let go when your line's complete. And I'll do the same for the right side, pulling that down there and for the left side as well. So left click and pull it down. And then cleaning up these other side areas should be relatively straightforward using the brush of the line tool as well. So that's pretty much that. Now we're going to want to mask away this bottom box area. So I'm going to hit B to switch to the brush. This time I want some fade to add softness to my brush strokes. So I'm going to go to brush settings and set the fade to about 50%. Uh, this way when we try to mask around the areas of the dog's paws, it won't have a hard edge to it and that will generally look a lot better. So let's go ahead and start masking out those areas here. Holding shift and then left clicking to lower the brush size is probably a good idea here so that we get more fine detail. And I'll start uh, brush stroking away the areas that don't belong. Note that I am using the stabilizer and the tool options to make these strokes a little bit cleaner. And if you ever need to bring back some of the detail, you can switch to a white color on your foreground background color selection and draw with that. White will add detail back in and black will remove it by masking it out. And then we need to clean up the remaining areas. And if you accidentally erase one of these corners, you can change the fade back to full hardness. Get those corner areas. Uh, next, what we're gonna wanna do is take the actor layer and make that full opacity so that it's showing all the way through. Uh, when you do that, you should be able to see any flaws that may still remain with your masking. So you can go back into the mask and work on that a little bit longer if you need to. Next, we can make a selection of just this Instagram post area and make that the new canvas. So I'm going to use a rectangular select tool and I'm going to draw around the edge of our post here. And then I'm going to go up to image and do trim to selection. So that will cut away anything extra. I'll check over the areas here and see if anything doesn't quite make sense still. Okay, so I actually realized I masked a little bit too much out here. So this gray area that should be unmasked. So I'm going to need to go back in with the brush tool here and uh, go ahead and take care of that. So it shouldn't be too hard. I'll actually use the line tool for the bottom here and we will just draw a line all the way across and then that should bring back the areas which should be showing in the photo. Okay, that looks a little bit better. 
Okay, so next what we can do with this actor layer to make it a little bit more 3D is to add some drop shadow with it. So I'm going to go to the actor layer up to layer style and we can toggle drop shadow with a simple click there. With the drop shadow, I'm going to want to lower the distance and the size down a little bit or a lot really and then the spread as well. Lower the opacity down a bit and we can change the angle at which it's occurring. So I'll go with roughly a 90 degree angle here for now and we can hit OK. We can always adjust that later on as well. And actually it might make a little more sense if the uh, shadow color is a little bit more on the pinky brown side since all of those colors are like that as well. So I'll go over to the actor layer back into layer style one more time and let's change the color here from that um, to something more like a very whitish brown or pale peach color and we'll hit okay there and see how that affects it so i think that looks a little bit better honestly okay so perhaps just a little bit more cleanup on the masking so i'll grab a black color and we'll have a partially faded brush and let's just clean up just a little bit more Okay, so with that, I'm just going to clean up the template a little bit. We'll put in a name up here. So a new layer, I will uh, draw over that. And then we'll add in a text vector layer. Set the font color to black, hit save, see how that looks. Uh, change the font if needed. And we can adjust the position of that up here as well. I'll also bring in one of my photos as a new layer here. And we can resize that with layer transform and then scale to new size shrink it down significantly to something like 48 pixels uh, pop it into place here and then we just need to mask it out again so with this image layer i will click on the plus button do a transparency mask and we can start we can start masking that out until the photo fits in the circle Probably for this, you should have no fade on it. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. So that's pretty much going to cover the effect on how you can take an image and put it inside of a Instagram post template and give it that 3D pop out effect, which makes it look like your photo is actually part of the post. So I hope you guys got something out of this tutorial. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.